booting it up booting it up let's start and uh, yeah let's see how uh, far we can take this if experience uh, what am I trying to say if my previous experiences getting up to around this number are to be consistent I should lose this one now it won't be the temperament, I know that. It's probably going to be before there, or since it's Tethys, most likely it's see like Ring 1, 2, or like Divinity. Now, you know me. I'm a Hellhorn type guy. Let's see what we got here. We got a Hellhorn with a Steel. That's great. We got a Hellhorn there. Man, there's a lot of better units. Why can't every run be like that? Whoa, okay. Hellhorn. My plan is just to get, if I can get Chill Wind, I'll take it. I just want Tethys to help me through the early. And I don't really care about, Con I mean, Con I, you know what, Conduit could work here too. I mean, there's a freaking Ice Tornado. Let's not kid ourselves, Ice Tornado's pretty damn good for Conduit. Um, I mean, it's pretty good for Spell Weakness too, but I, no way in hell I'm going that damn route. We got okay starters, I suppose. Um... Just trying to already get a plan going, you know, I think that's a good idea. You want a plan going right from the get-go. That way you know what you're looking for, both at the Dark Forge here and at your artifacts. You know, if you know a general plan that looks good to you, I mean, honestly, it could go either way, Ring 2. We, we've really hoped for a unit draft here, because we get the Divine Temple Ring 2. I'm almost certainly going Merchant of Steel, especially if I get a... I mean, there's just no question about it. I have to go that route. Um, maybe the only way I wouldn't is if I get a good tanky banner and I get Ritual. That's the only way I think I would go there, because then I could double Ember it and Hellvent it. That would be acceptable. Most likely, though, we're going this route. We can go either route here. I see a lot of Hellhorn banners in my future. Which makes me, like I said, open to just doing a Tethys route that'll get me through the early game and leaning into the greatness that is Hellhorn beyond that. So like here, they give me this tough decision. It's like Conduit is obviously going to be the best Tethys route. And it even is okay, Ring 1, since I have these Ice Tornadoes. I mean, I could just go Conduit. Even if I don't end up with Incant. Tough choice. Tough choice. Um, I mean, it's not going to help. It's a lot of stuff. And I'm really probably not going to end up with the Stygian unit unless it's at these unit drafts here. Oh, this is tough. It's so hard for me not to take Conduit here. It's just such, like, nice value. It's too bad it doesn't apply to these, huh? Um, chill win. It's the better start. There's no doubt about that. Joan. I think we see the Hellhorn route before us. Oh man, that too. This one's guaranteed value though. The other one isn't necessarily. Oh. This plus this. Yes, please. We don't need conduit now. I'm real glad we didn't take a conduit now. Um Spikes is not the greatest. Not gonna lie there. Spikes is not the greatest. It's just gold. And we got a... I uh, got a boons there. I was thinking like... I might need that gold if I need to reroll for Endless or something. I mean, how fucked am I here? It's 15 shards. He's got, it's the nightmare. It's the nightmare for both of these. The boss will be hard. I don't necessarily have consistent... Well, I got some decent backline clear... Tethys can survive one round of spikes. Ideally, I could kill with Ice Tornado before then. I've got the Unbroken Horn. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Um, hopefully, I don't die because of this. 
Vent, obviously not the greatest with Unbroken Horn, but then again, Ring 1, I don't mind it too much, right? I think we put these down here. I think that makes sense. We can actually kill these with Spears and Imps now, which is pretty nice. With uh, Bow Bice. Might as well just do that. 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 I guess we hold that for some reason. I don't know. Oh yeah, the boss. Perfect. It'll be great on the boss. Uh, I th think we just do this. That basically kills him. I don't think we vent here. I can just kill that with a spear. And we can do this, that, that. I'm not doing that for 10. I'm just going to hope I get those ice tornadoes. See, ice tornado ring one's legit. And we'll kill him. All I need is a single hit from Tethys here. There we go. Boom. Go to hell, bitch. Yeah, you tell him, Gabriel. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I need these. Uh, siphon, maybe? Uh, <clears throat> do I need... Am I, am I banking too much on finding good Hellhorn shit here? Am I? I don't know. Maybe I am. Because if I am, I don't take any of these. If if I want to be a little bit more open to the Stygian game plan, I should probably take Siphon, I'm thinking. Siphon plus Tornado kills a lot of stuff. Then again, I could take a Flash Freeze for self-kill. I actually like that. Like an Imp. Like, I could kill an Imp with it. I like that. Ha ha ha! And we're off to the races. Easy choice here. We go here. We find Endless. Yes. Didn't even need it to load and I knew it was coming. Look at that. Multi-Striker. Fuck yes. 25 health. Light them up, baby. Line them up. Put 25 health right there. This is like the standard bread and butter Hellhorn shit right here. So now we just we go to that steel probably. There's a vortex with it at least, and that is where we can look for either quick or multi strike. We can also again I really don't need tethys. I can just get let's see where's the hell vent right here. We definitely get this hell vent. We're gonna hell vent the imp. Infuse it into itself here maybe or maybe not. We don't know. We might. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I purge well if I'm I'm pretty dead set on going to that hellvent next turn I could probably get away with purging here damn 30 30 damn magic son I could make that relevant into the late game although maybe this is better it's less shards it this might make it even more relevant. I don't know, though. Just putting it on a vent. I know it's like anti-synergy with uh, Unbroken Horn, but do I care? I don't need to make Unbroken Horn work is a thing. I, it was great ring one when I had all those ice tornadoes, but honestly, if my plan is eventually to have like two super fledgling imps coming back each turn, that's the plan. I don't need a whole ener energy, you know? And just having like one of these as a super vent I'm kind of down with it. I, I don't know. It seems a bit much, though, to, to go this far. Uh, like, I could do that. Just hedge my bets. I mean, really, this... This would be the best, probably, if I, if I go like this. I think I can handle this. The best long-term would be to double up on one of them, but short-term, here's a problem. So I've put all these resources into, you know, I got the fledgling imp. I might not draw it early. I could also draw one of these vents early and the other not. But now that I got both vents going for me, I got a pretty good spread here on what can happen. I'm also, since I am almost certainly going to that hell vent, I will get rid of a steward. I don't need ritual, so I don't need to leave myself open to the uh, the thing. Fledgling imp is such a free win, with uh, especially when you got a horned warrior. We'll do this. 
And that's extra damage to them. I, I doubt they're going to get to my floor. Alright, let's do this. This will leave space open. It's okay. And why don't we just do that? Who knows? Let us spear kill it now. Yeah, we'll do that too. Love these imps. I'll save an imp for later, I think. No sense playing one now. Uh, do I need to vent here? Doesn't necessarily kill everything. <clears throat> I also don't have Hell's Banners. I mean, I could probably vent here. Might as well do this first. Yeah, we can do that. Might as well do that. Um, actually, that didn't really uh, work out for me, did it? Okay, well, we can bail ourselves out of that dumb play by doing that. It's all good. Might be best if we do this if it's if it's not gonna die. You know, we can get our Hell's Banners right here. Do that. Do that. I guess I could have just done that. Whatever. It's all good. Not even close. Not even close. Boom. That's why you add 25 health to your backliners, boys. We would have been hurting there if I didn't do that. If you have to settle for a battle stone there, settle for it. I'd at least get another shot in there. I might be looking at pyre health, but can't stress how much that's why you go, especially with these squishy Tethys champs, that is why you go Merchant of Steel Ring 2. I stand by that. You need it. Um, I would not be completely opposed to one more flash freeze. It, It's currently the only way I have other than, you know, chump blocking to sacrifice my fledge. You know, you gotta, f gotta sacrifice your fledge, brah. That's one part about these uh, imp builds. Ooh, nice. You don't want Hidden Passage with an imp build. We don't even have to Hellvent. Well, we're gonna Hellvent still, but now... Now I get a Hellvent, a dude that's already, you know, buffed up. Ooh. Hmm. Sweeper's kind of enticing, but... I don't know. Um, let me think about this. Uh, that wouldn't be horrible. It wouldn't be great. I think we can do better for our one horn warrior. Like, honestly, like I said, I don't really need tethers. Like, my plan probably eventually is just to throw tethers away and have double horned warrior and then two imps that are buffed up endless in front. That's kind of my my floor. I'd be down to take a pip upgrade to make that happen. Now, obviously offering monument is a super good card, by the way. Just like to point that out in case you don't watch too many of my stuff. I don't want to give you a bad impression here. If I had an incant deck 100%, I would snap the fuck out of that. A snap pick the fuck out of that offering monument, but we're not, like I said, from the get-go, I kind of planned on Hellhorn. I think Hellhorn is the most consistent strategy in the game. So, I think we just, we don't need any of that, really. Now we go, oh, fuck, that's right. I don't have the damn temple here. I mean, either way, there's some stitch and stuff that could go good into Horn Warrior. There's probably more Hellhorn banner units that do go better into it, if I'm being honest, but... I just don't really have that good of uh, spell um, spell targets here. I think I'd like to Hellvent the Endless Imp. Ah, that sucks though. I guess we can Hellvent it there. Does that mean I just Hellvent? I could go here and if I get a good stitch in... Nah. No, 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 this is really making sense. So let me think here. Let's, let's just do a quick review on what either Horn Warrior could go into or what could go into Horn Warrior. So, banner units, um, unit essences, so, brute would, would just go on the floor, um, 
we would we would pivot and go single imp and just do brute and, and dude. Brandon Warrior could go into it fine. Um, Apex Imp, I would probably just take the Apex Imp and try to make it work, honestly. It's too too good. Steelworker goes into it just fine. Railbeater. Railbeater, I would go the other way. I would put uh, Hornware into Railbeater, and that would be great to Hellvent at some point. Now, granted, our Hellvent situation is interesting, right? We're probably going to Hellvent the unit first instead of the Imp, which means I could still go... I'll vent my Endless Imp, and then I find it quicker and just have the capability to play both. That's an option. Alpha Fiend, I don't know that we need the Alpha Fiend infusion when we've got Endless Imps. Um, Demon Fiend, I think we're, we don't want that extra pip for in this case. I like that one better when you're in a, doing a Rage, a Ritual build. Um, and the Consumer just sucks. So, I don't know. We don't need to go left, it looks like. Let's, let's just really quick think what we could get on Stygian that would be good, though. Like... Unnamed, mm, it'd be okay. It'd be okay. Uh, Silophyte and Kalia, no. Siren, we're not an incant deck, but I don't know. Maybe it works. I might, I might have been okay just taking that offering monument. Like draw one a turn is fine. Gorgon in this deck, I would put Gorgon in into my one home tome. Siren of the Sea could work. Titan Sentry, and yeah, there's really not many um, stitching units that I'm seeing work here, so the Hellhorn banners are definitely better for my one home warrior. There's no doubt. The question is, do I want a Hellvent right now, or do I want to hit Merchant of Magic? Like a Hell for uh, a holdover and Flash Freeze would be welcome. If I don't get that, there's Permafrost. I would also Permafrost a Flash Freeze. That's not like the worst. Uh, what about consume remove? Probably nothing. And then what else is left? Double stack? Definitely no double stack. So, I don't know. There's a 25% chance I just don't get anything that I can use that well. At any rate, the ember upgrades could be good. It's also Talos the Stunner. Hmm. could be an issue which this is tough this is tough what do I hell vent then just the fledgling imp I think that's a, just a really solid play to make it's such a guaranteed value play I'll take that so one option I could do is Guard of the Unnamed. <laughs> this would be really stupid. And put it into, or put Hornware into it. That can't be right. No, there's no way that's right. I think we just skip here. Like even Nameless Siren, it's not really worth my 25 shards to incant rage here. That's just pales in comparison to the rage I'm going to get from... The imps. I don't like anything that's gonna hurt my draw here. I just don't have any big reason to take these. Kind of sucks to miss on that event, but you know what? This play right here is just pretty good. See, look at we can just already kind of right off the bat here have one of these in play down to take that big boy out and do this. There might be arguments for holding that steward just so I can have a Hell's Banners, a, like a likely Hell's Banners target later on. Like here I'm even thinking maybe I just don't, I, I could hold that. Let's try to take that guy out nice. Alright, so you should go first. Nope, you know what? Ah, this doesn't work, does it? Okay, we can do this. I didn't even think of this. I always forget you can silence Talos. Now it doesn't really matter. So we put this down first. I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
I'd rather get the rage to everybody, of course, so... I'll hold that for later. You can hit me all you want. Health is gonna be an issue, though. That's definitely something we need to keep an eye out on. Um... We can just do that. Um, I can hold these for later. We should put some frostbite on her. I'll do that there, just to get some damage on her. I know I lose my uh, stuff, but whatever. The way this is going, we don't really care. This is really good, actually, that these are here this turn. We really should just put damage in there. Like I said, though... Well, I got both these on Endless now, so I can probably just let these go. Oh, the sweep, though. That's not good. That sweep is not fucking good. Alright, we're gonna put these down first. We need to get good hit here. Oh, yeah, we got it. Boom, I don't even have to vent, but it will. I think we got this. We just have to, uh... Just have to fuck them up. That's what we gotta do. It's like, maybe I hold the ember there? I don't know. Got him! Hellhorn, proven that the only defense you need is offense. Oh ho 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 ho! And the run has just entered a new state here. I really don't need to put anything into this unit. Um, I actually regret not taking the uh, Guard of the Unnamed. Even then, though, I'm really not incanting much. Um, I kind of wanted to hit that steel up, but I'm like, I really don't have a good infusion for my one horn warrior right now. I guess I don't need one. Because here's the thing, I'm... I think I do want to hit the steel up, because I want to get endless on this uh, imp. And just go for the endless transcend imp, right? With a queen simpling into it, which is... The classic free win. At that point, I already have Fledgling into Fledgling I need to make, and Queen's Imp into Transcend Imp I need to make. Yeah, I could at some point put a unit into Hellhorn Warrior, but then I just have an extra unit. And even Titan Sentry, like, you want Endless on it, and my Endless priority just is not on that unit. It would be on the Queen's Imp Transcend Imp combo. So, long story short, that's a skip, and we're going left. I can see arguments for draw, but we're going pip. Oh damn, we got a... Oh, I got a Twitch follow for... I'ma fuck this up. For Lento Kezir quit. I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. Ferlin... For Lento Kezir quiz has followed, thank you. Thank you, Ferlin Kezir quiz. Ferlin to cares a quiz. How about that? Multi strike. I'll be honest. I'm like, do I, do I want multi strike? I don't know that I do. I don't know that I do. Um. Hmm. Like, quick would be preferred. Would it, though? Nah, fuck it. Let's do multi-strike. Three hits. We just gotta find some defense. We, uh, You know, I, j I can joke all around about how good uh, offense is in relation to defense, but you do need some defense, and we're certainly lacking that right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do here is... I put this into this, since this one has the double rage, I leave its health at one, but I could I could probably afford to put 25 health on another one, or even incant armor. 25 health on this one, maybe. I can still reroll for the endless on Transcendum. Oh ho 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 ho. Now, that is just disgusting. Okay. Well, I do think... 
I do think uh, I'm still going to put... Normally, if I get the Endless there, I would lock the Imp into it. But I think right now I am going to lock this into this for now. Just because these these first these rings here, while my energies... I got Hell's Banners, though. You know what? Fuck it. Um, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. I, I think it's... I got Hell's Banners, so this is fine. I'm just going to put it into Transcendent. That gets me out of so much more problems than just getting Rage does. Especially when I'm not quick. If I lose all my units, I can still just win off the back of Transcendent alone, so... That'll be plenty fine. We could go into Shardsville. I mean, that's pretty good right there. Then again, do I need it when I have an Endless Transcendent? Not really. If I'm going to go to Shardsville, I might as well get rid of like these Frozen Lances. I'm down with that. Ice Tornadoes are still okay for me. Ooh, I got removals. Probably, this, probably the Lances are worse than units when I have Hell's Banners, right? Let's just get rid of these shitty cards. Lances are the worst. I'll, I'd rather have Drag Secondary than Spears anything, really. Uh, Conduit Spears are okay. Conduit Spears are okay. That's about it, though. Um, any other upgrades I need to make? I could put some health on them, but nah. I do want them to die. I got one of them with health, that's fine. I could flex a conduit, there's really no reason not to. It helps me preserve some energy here and there. Mark of Win Evasion, the easiest mark there is. These guys basically do less damage than the clergymen. Not a bad deal at all. Now get some energy here. I could do that, then they kill this. I like that. And let's take that guy out, because he's a fucker. Uh, I do need to find, like, my three endless imps here, hopefully soon. But for now, they're all dying. We could do that. It's exact enough to die. They still die. Get some ember here. Uh, hmm. Do I need this ember? Not really, right? I do want that guy to die. I'm out of vents, so... Might as well. Alright. We can put you in. Might as well do this first. Uh-oh. Well... Might as well do this then. We want this thing to die, like I said, every turn. Or else it's a waste of it. He's doing so much damage already. I think I can hold that ember, huh? Just keep that for maybe the boss. I forget which boss it was. We can just do that. That. Oh my god, look at that. It's already deleting the fucking floor. If I do this, it's probably better then. That way it dies that way. Uh, what am I going to do here? I mean... Uh, I could have still done it and shot it with a flash freeze. I'm an idiot. Oh, whatever. Do I have any incant synergy up here? No. Okay. There's the, uh, the buff one. Well, we can just do this. Might as well put this up here. And save everything else. Oh, this is a good silence. You almost tried to make me do that, didn't you, game? I, You know I had it fucking clicked, and it just fucking rockets me up there like the little bitch that it is. Okay, let's do... Do I got a flash freeze coming? Alright, we got a flash freeze coming. We can do this. Why don't we not play those vents and just uh, play these? Okay, okay, I guess I'll play the vents. Can do that. We don't want to redraw that. 
keep the ember for reasons. And then one. You think you got me, buddy. You think you got me, but you don't. Take that, bitch. That's good to see, though. That highlights how squishy we actually are. And I'll be honest, a guardian stone ain't gonna cut it. How many incants did I have top floor that floor that fight, you think? Maybe three? That ain't gonna cut it. I could uh, put it into my guy, though, at pretty low cost. I could take it just for that. That's not a bad idea. It really isn't. It does hurt his damage by five initially, but do we really care about that when we're getting a million rage? I think I actually, I like it. That's about the best I could hope for. Ooh, Impish Scholar. Currently not getting us much back, but it sure could end up getting us stuff back. Then again, there's defense. I was complaining about no defense. There's better defense out there, but uh, I don't have it. I might be the smart play to do this. True, Transcendent will just... You know what? It also can sacrifice my Transcendent, so... We'll take that. And Imps in general it can sacrifice. It's a flexible card. I find myself not taking it that much in the DLC, but it's a good card that I've just kind of haven't had a need for. Tell you what, there's just no way I'm not taking a hell event, you know? There's just no way. I, I, this is tempting. This is a very value. Like, either side has a ton of value. Cheater's hand with these imps. Trust me on this. That's a good. That's a good fucking thing. I could also cheater's hand. This is just too good. That's damn, damn good right there. Oh, definitely. We will take that. Okay, the hell vent does just start going on these. I have to imagine. Probably two is fine though. I think two is the sweet spot. It's it's hard without a. Past a certain point, you want your imp sacrificers. Important work's obviously the nuts. We have no problem with this. Uh, so important work is the nuts, but these flash freezes will do just fine too. So from here on out, we actually are more inclined to like hit merchants some magic up. Uh, try to get hold over on flash freezes, and if we see hell vents, if I don't find anything better, like honestly, flash freeze might be the good hell vent. We'll see though. We'll see. Don't really know what we need to, like, find next turn. Maybe this. Branding right's probably the best to find next turn. Even though, technically, it would go just fine on this Horned Warrior. There we go. Spell Shield, Smell Shield. I still think this is where we do the Guardian uh, Totem Infusion. I'd rather get the double uh, Rage next turn. Like, he doesn't even necessarily warrant a slot here, I feel. Does he? I mean, I'm not quick, so I might need it to actually survive this next fight. So I guess I will take him. Um, maybe we do this. So we could do this. A little bit there. Now I survived this at least, as long as I don't stupidly like give that guy rage. I think we put both of them out. All right, no tran none of my two transcendents yet, but we got these ones, so that'll be just fine. One, two, three. We can hold this one, I suppose. This guy's gonna die, so that's why I'm like putting the other one in. We can do this. Um, hmm. I can get rid of this. Do I get rid of this? Probably. At this point, I've got all my shit on Endless. We need to get a little bit of armor bef before that guy gets here. Uh, I guess we're going to have to do it in the form of vents. Keep this for next turn, I guess. Uh... I guess double vent this turn makes sense, that way we don't blow all our energy like two turns in a row. So we, we want to do this to get... Oh fuck, I lost a guy. Never mind. I guess Tethys is just dead. That's fine. I never wanted him at, I never wanted you anyway, Tethys. 
We got a little bit of armor here, at least. Um, okay, we got flash freeze here, so... I can put this guy down. He should just kill this guy, right? We can bring this back. Um, let's do this. That. That. There we go. Tetha still lives. This dies. I mean, if that's going to die, we might as well have that die, too. For whatever reason, do that. This guy might be a bit of an issue, actually. If we're killing everything up there... Alright, I think we're fine, so... I guess that doesn't really do anything. We'll just do that. We can do... This... That. They both block. I kill everything, and then I can do this... This. That'll put a ton of damage on the boss. This is, by the way, why I... I prefer to get this before the Fledge Imp, because if you look at it, um, you know, I'm just getting, uh, instead of just getting a ton of rage but dying in a few hits, I'm putting in a ton of damage here, right? I mean, I damn near killed the unit, uh, just killed the boss there, you know? Don't really need to spend that. Now we should just be able to put down these imps and boom. Like I said, that's a good example of, like, I could have lost my floor and still won. That's why you, you just gotta do the Transcendent uh, Queen's Imp. It's just too good. I suppose we might want this. Um, there is the matter, though, of I don't have draw upgrades. I might get a draw upgrade next, but as it stands, deck is a little bit fat. At any rate, I, I probably just don't really need this Frenzied Swarm, if I'm being honest. You generally regret not taking it, but my game plan does not need my banner unit or champ to win. I, I really just need my transcendence and flash freezes. That's about it. From here on out, that's really all I'll need. I'll tell you what, though. I will take a tiresome climb. I bet that's, that is that is a bit hypocritical with not taking the uh, frenzied swarm. I don't know, though. This, this just helps me with the bosses a lot more than the frenzied swarm would. I can get a bunch of dazed out of that. And like I said, at this point, even though the value is over here, I think we're going to go here. I don't know, though. I mean... I could get, like, a pip upgrade. I could get a pip... Uh, I could get a pip upgrade in the form of hammer or just micro pip the horn warrior. That's the high roll, of course. There's a lot of low rolls that cavern could be. I already low rolled on one of them though, so one of the bad caverns is already out of the way. The thing here is like I wouldn't utilize the steel at all, but I would utilize that vortex. Like I really could just get rid of these flat, uh, frozen lances. So it's like basically is merchant of magic better than vortex and concealed caverns? I actually don't think so. I think it, I think a permafrost or holdover on my flash freezes is pretty damn legit. So we're just gonna go this route. Obviously, I have nothing for the health there. It's a complete miss, but right away, I could do the stone into the warrior if I think that's what I need more. I might need that more, but uh, nah, I think I'm just going to put this into this one. I think I like that more, and uh, I don't think I'll do the others. I mean, I could go crazy on shards here, but if I'm just trying to win, why, you know? Now we permafrost one of these flash freezes, I think. That's going to go a long way to helping us make that work. Let's get one of these down. Maybe the tiresome climb down as well. Um, I'm, I'm just going to remove these lances, so I really don't think... Like, I could probably do a surge stone on one of these. That's fine. Double stack is not really what we wanted to see, but that's a pretty good play, putting it on a tiresome climb. I could... I could hold out for a minus two upgrade. I'm fine just bringing it down by one. I've got Hell's Banners. I've got Unbroken Horn. I have Improved Firebox. I'm good there. We can do this to the other Tornado. That way we don't have to remove those and they provide decent value. Let's go ahead and just remove these Lances for now with our money. But probably hold the money for the next... You know, this guy only gives 100 gold. Do we want any of these? Like, I could do this. 
for 10 shards. It is actually probably worth it for me to do this for 10 shards at this point. You know, it's not the... Uh, this Arcus is not the one that gains... Um, it's, it's Sin of Failure is the only Arcus that doesn't gain stealth for shards, so... You're not super punished on this Arcus by not doing shards. E even if it was stealth, I got these Transcendent, so... I'm all, all around, I'm just not worried. We can hold that, I guess. And I forget, Sin of Failure does have a sweeper, so I might actually want to do this. If I care about... If I care about Tethys. I think it's fine. I am just going to throw these out. I think with the amount of endless imps I have, I don't need to like hold these units for later. This is fine. We've got a lot of imp sacrificers now, so that's good. Um, we can do this... 15 by 3. Do I want to hold this ember or just blast these guys? 10 by 9. I think we could just do this, maybe. Or this. Yeah, let's do that. Keep the ember. We should be getting an imp here. Yeah, we got the big imp. So, let's uh, throw that one back. That is unfortunate. Let's do that. Hmm. We'll just have to find a way to kill that. Because I can do this and have it self sack. So I can hold that still. I do give this guy rage, but I almost I'm almost certainly gonna kill him. And you know what? Let's just do that. We don't care. Let's just do that. That guy is still dazed, so we can let him up. It's fine. We've got a lot of stuff here. We'll do this. Get that big rage. They both die, so that's good. We don't got to do anything else there. I can do that. That will naturally kill him. I can do this. He naturally dies. Hmm. This is a weird one, but uh, I'm just going to do this. Okay, we got the incant. We got a lot of stuff here. Let's put you there. You there. And that kills that. Doesn't do that much damage there, so I'll just do it here, I guess. Um, we can do this here, and I'll just sack that one. This, by the way, if you're if you're just kind of casually watching, and I'm not necessarily explaining, so Queen's Imp into Transcendent is really a free win if you can get Endless on Transcendent, and especially if you can get two of them. Now, I have Hell's Banners in this case, and a lot of Ember Artifacts. You don't always have that, so you might want to take an Ember upgrade if you can't find stuff. But even just like a Pyre Chomper can solve your issues. Even if you don't directly get a Pyre Chomper, you can indirectly get it with like Imp Sickle's a good pickup, or like Imp in a Box. I'd even go so far as to like consume remove that Imp in a Box, or get Impish Scholar, um, you know. Basically, the idea is you got to get enough energy to play at least two of these each turn. And you also need a way to sacrifice them. So, Hell, uh, Melting Remnant is going to be the best secondary in that case because you can just put a Burnout upgrade on it. Uh, Shard Tail is going to be the best champ in that case because you just can get Imperialist. But if you don't have any of those, it's still fine. You'll notice, like, what I'm trying to do is past a certain point when you play these Transcendents, they're going to clear the, no the whole floor no matter what, right? So, here, I don't really want to play this here. I want to just let these naturally kill it. And I want to be on the lookout for anything that can self-sacrifice my imps. Because the only way you lose this, it's such a free win, but there is a way to lose. And the way that you do lose it 
is that you simply just you fuck up and you don't uh I even fucked up there. I should have put these down first. But I'm just going to put them like this for now. Um but yeah, the way uh long story short, the way you fuck up is that you don't let them die. And that can happen if you don't have enough self-sacrificing things. That's why I'm so hunting for like holdover on a flash freeze. Any way to kill your own unit will do. Hornbreak, torch, anything. Obviously, you're not going to have torch and queen's impling into transcendent, but uh, that's just another example. Like, you don't. It's not always. Tra imps in general, you want a way to sacrifice your stuff. Hopefully, that made sense. Like, here, might as well let these kill them. Up here is going to be fine. It'll even be fine if they come up and sacrifice some of these imps out. This unit, I really don't need. I should just put them down. I'll get a Hell's Banners out of it. Put some damage in on Arcus. Get that there. And I think I just hold... I, I could I could play these. There's no, really no reason for me to, though. I might as well just conserve my energy. So I think we'll, we'll probably even just... We, we could, like, bring him up. That's an option. Actually, I'll, I'll probably just leave that as an option later if I need it. Though, they'll, they'll die just fine. So we might as well just do this. That's going to damn near kill him. Um, we could, there, there's so many w ways we could do this. I can like sacrifice my guys out up here if I needed to, but it doesn't really look like I need to do that. Uh, we might as well... We don't, need, we, we don't need to redraw this. There's a lot of ways we can win here. So might as well just do this. Next turn, we're just going to kill him with the Transcendence. That's the thing. So it's not really much to tease out here. We had him ten ways from Sunday. Like, we could bring him up a, you know, eight days or four days. Like, there's just so many ways we have. This is why Hellhorn's the best. Like, I'm telling you, I have so many examples of this now. Of so many iterations of just imp builds. You don't even need imp builds. You can do ritual of battle builds. You can do... Uh, last stand builds, dark deal. There's just so many ways to get damage in this clan. I don't need any other clan. Like, think of how little of Stygian I'm using here. How little of Tethys I'm using. I have the flash freezes are probably the only thing I'm really utilizing at this point. I don't care about Guardian Stone. I don't really care. Un Unnamed Tome's okay, but like, it's all Hellhorned, you know? This is all Hellhorned right here. I could take a Reinforce. I don't know that I need one. It's, again, I don't really, like, Transcendent should be able to carry everything in this run, so I think we just skip these. They just delay my, my draw toward those units. And in fact, I, at this point, I am just going to take draw. I don't need any more pip. Um, what are we looking for? I think, again, we just go this route. Like, there's, there's arguments for Vortex. Like, I could just remove enough stuff that I'm just finding Flash Freeze enough, but... I'd rather greed and try to get the holdover on it. Gauge sometimes does work, by the way. It would definitely actually work here. I'm, I might take it. Um, it can be a bit awkward. Uh, I really won't, don't want to play my events at that point, but like I'll draw my units. Transcend them doesn't... You know, it, its average cost will remain at 2. The other, a lot of the other costs will go up, but I'm drawing three extra cards a turn. So I can see the, the argument for Volatile Gauge here. I mean, I'm pretty often getting to my Flash Freezes then. It's just, do I have the energy to do all that each turn? That I don't know. Probably the safe route is Consumed Crown. Should I just take Gauge, though, to, like, prove a point? I kind of think maybe, yeah. I'm going to take Gage just to prove a point here, I think. So, to, quote, to quote Vision, though, is my own hubris going to get me here? Um, I mean, these Flash Freezes will be, on average, expensive. I get three Ember back. I start with seven. I have the Unbroken Horn. I have to imagine this is fine. If, if on average, my units cost two... I, on average, do lose Ember eventually. But I start with, you know, seven extra. You know, I, I basically spend four to gain three. That's the average. So I'm, on average, just losing an Ember each turn. 
On average, she'd take seven turns for me to get down to three ember, basically. Tough call, honestly. Tough call. I think we could win with it. I wish I would have checked if I'm getting a holdover or not. If I get holdover flash freeze, I really don't want... Fl you know what? I, I don't think we need it. And consume crown, we can take that, I guess. Yeah, see, we got holdover. So with holdover, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, and I might as well just uh, make this zero cost, I guess. I could also put damage on it, but it's solely just for killing my units. I'm keeping my units at one health. There's only one imp that's at 25. The ones I want coming back are at one health, and that's not going to change. Uh, this, I don't think I want. I honestly might remove these vents, if I'm being honest. They are a removal target at this point. Because they're just a liability to me. They could be okay, though. I don't think we want to remove that on anything. Even here, I'm like, I don't really need to spend my money on that. I could remove this down to zero. Works. I think we just hold our gold for now. Intrinsic. Nothing. 30. Eh, yeah, nothing. We could do this. If anything, it's pseudo-removal. But like I said, we're not encanting much. But uh, I'll take it. It might help. I might need that. Like, the first few waves, I might still need these units, right? And, uh, I mean, Conduit gets her more health. Uh, might as well do that, then. The Frostbite damage is a joke compared to the Rage damage that I'll get. Is my hubris going to get me here? Because this is completely unnecessary. I've already won the game. The way I lose is a bad set of draws here on these guys. With that extra damage just annihilating my pyre. I think, though, that you got to live a little, right? It'd be boring if I didn't take that. Okay, I mean, I'm going to play out everything here. I could put this up here as, like, buffer, but, again, that would be a bit boring. We could kill that. That way this is guaranteed to kill that. We could play this. Then he, he goes here with four. He'll be three here. He'll have two days there. I don't like it. I'd rather just try to find some shit. See, we're having bad draws. I mean, I have all these four imps here. I haven't found a single one yet. But I guess it's okay. I can probably do this one of those other turns. Now the question is, am I gonna hold this? This just needs to hit once. Then I don't need to vent. That's fine. We can, I guess, hold this for the uh, living armor if we really need to. I could also hold it for these wilt wings. That's totally a fine option as well. Alright. Will. Hmm. How's that look? Not a kill? Then I guess we'll just do this. That'll definitely be a kill. That dies. 52 by 3 should kill that. So let's... This is on holdover. Let's do that. Um, we can do this to kill the Wiltwing. Would have been nice to sack my own guy with it, but that's fine. I don't think we do the vent here. I think we're going to be fine not doing that. We got another transcendent pretty likely to find here. Yeah, there's just so many so many ways I have this now. Um, if I do that, that should be fine. I don't necessarily want this one back anymore, so let's do this first. Put one of them down. And this will still die. We can do this. We could put this guy in here. I guess we might as well put this guy in too. Then this still dies. I don't need to play these though. I mean, I could. Should I? 
I guess so. Could do that. That's fine. Let's live life on the edge a little bit. I don't know about... You know what? That's fine. We got the flash freeze. Let's just do this. You can die there. It's fine. We can kill both of them this turn. Don't even need to. Let's just put these guys here. Get them ready. He's here, I guess. <laughs> Got ya. Uh, I could. Rem I should have. I could. I could consider removing one horn warrior. All it does is hurt my draw at this point. I don't really think I need it. Again, anything that isn't a transcendent, even the tiresome climb, as good as that is, think about how often I've played the other one once, I think. It's just not happening. All we need is those imps and the flash freezes. I say we go this route. Um, yeah, let's just tell Vent. Uh, probably the transcendent is my guess. Could do extra slot. What would I want an extra slot for? I don't know that I need that. There's still double summons and other stuff I can reroll here for. The Totem Fragment and Lightstone are great artifacts, but I just don't need them. I mean, I'd take that. I think we just spend money on purges, huh? So, let's see what we got here. Permafrost. I do regret not taking the three. I, I would have probably permafrosted this branding, right? I could permafrost this if I need to. Um, I don't know. I don't need to do any of that. Remove consume. Eh. I think we just remove stuff then. Like... Honestly, probably this. I don't know. Eh, it's probably better that I remove stewards, I guess, at this point. Yeah, probably better that I remove stewards. Get these down. That's fine. I like all that. I could also do this... Uh, here, if I need to, I guess. I don't need the boons. Um, I think... I think I just want to get this Transcendent duped. I mean, we should go... Uh, take it for the shards, right? Gotta end it at even number 200. I can guarantee a Temperant is not going to kill me here. This is not going to be my first tem Temperant loss. Look at that, we already have that even. That's pretty good. I think we can hold this just for another uh, sac future sacrifice. How did that do so much damage already? Am I missing something here or what? Like, I don't have double summon artifact. did so much damage. Like, how did that do so much damage? What am I missing here? That should have only done 40 damage. It did... 80? It did 80 damage. Damage. 
I'm a bit confused there. It that was like some Ashes of the Fallen shit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm way confused. That should not have done 80. Should have done 40. Oh, you know what? Duh. This is why it's so powerful. I'm an idiot. It's because it does its own summon and then does its own summon after that. That's right. I'm an idiot. I could do this. I don't need to. I could do it here. Yeah, we could do this. And that's actually fine right there. That'll get self-sacked. We can do that then. I guess we could do that. We don't really need that back. I just need the Transcendence at this point, I think. Got the damage shield out. That's good. one there. That dies pretty cleanly. I think we go in here while there's damage to be had on the boss. And we can now take both these out. I should have put um, these guys down first, but that's fine. We can put that down first, and then that. We could put these here. And I can put one there. If I put the other one, they'll die. So let's put two of these here while the other ones still like do damage and stuff. I can do that. That works. This is how you want to try to finagle it, right? You want to try to naturally have as many of them die so you don't have to spend self-sacrifice as much. But then you also want to start putting damage in on the boss. It's like, this one's already dying, but I... Eh, if I do that, it clears the whole floor out. It's tough. I can always put... I have one slot available if I need to. I can always do it up here. We should put that down first. I like this. Um, we can still take another one out, though. I'm down with that. We... This would be a good turn to burn this out, at least. And then I just- I don't want to redraw that, though, so I won't. I could have vented that. But again, we can just transcend them up here, since... It kind of makes sense to do so. Uh, we actually want to do this. Um, we'll do this. Just so we get the health banners, and I can play both these. We sh we're actually short of Ember here, so we can't get the kill. That's fine though. We'll get the uh, flying. We'll get a light flying kill here the next turn. Unfortunately, this guy's gonna come out though. But that's fine. So we'll go bottom with our two transcendents here, and that should do it. And that'll be all she wrote. Boom. There you have it. And, uh, I am not worried at all about this fight. Not one bit. I do think, though, at a certain point I might want to leave some of these other units around for redraw. I did run out of energy there because the Transcendents are so expensive. Let's go ahead and put these guys mid for whatever that's worth. Um... I think we can safely chump block here, and I, I actually will just keep the steward for redraw. We might want these guys here. We unfortunately don't draw a rage yet. That could be an issue. Um, i probably just do this here since this is the only four that's really all that threatening. I am going to have to um, 
vent here, unfortunately, it looks like. Just trying to think what else I want to do here. It's a 6, 6, 20. It's not going to kill me, so I, I think I'll do this. Do I need to vent this? I mean, it's... I'll be able to finish them off. What I might want to do is vent this. Yeah, I'm down with that. And I might as well put some damage in there. These are not the best of draws. This guy should chump block pretty good though. It's nice to have health on one of your imps like that. We can do this to finish all them off. He'll die naturally. That's the nice thing about Divinity. I do think I will vent this too. After I do this, of course. So we're a little bit low on energy here, but that's how it goes sometimes. We luckily get a one cost imp here. Let's see, one, three, I get three back, then I have four. I should throw one of them out then. Um, let's go here. Nope. We'll go here. Probably want the, the larger one here. We could do this. We don't want to redraw this imp, I don't think. Everybody else is going to die just fine. I do want to keep this on holdover still. I don't know if I need this on holdover anymore. I mean, this fight particularly, I don't need this for. I think I just let it go. Okay, one, two... I do need to keep... Yeah, we're, we're a little bit low on Ember here, unfortunately. It's just how it goes. Um, let's put you down. Put you down. He'll die just fine. Uh, I will do this, I suppose, but I got it. I really do got to hold Ember. Wow, that didn't even hit him once. That's why the Ice Storm's Ice Tornado pretty much sucks for this fight. Okay, we can fuck you up. And then we'll do you again, put you in. I should probably keep this in. I probably could have actually finished it here. Um, that's fine though. Let's do this. I'll do that. And I'll do this. This is a good turn we, to do vent on. Just get the uh, spikes. It does seem like we kind of want our units to stick here. This fight did not go as... I mean, it didn't go hard, but... It didn't go as well as I honestly thought it would. Um, it's fine though. Let's do this. Um, this. Look, I'm a little surprised we're not like just deleting all these fucking groups a little bit more easily. But we get the flying kill here, so what more can you ask for, right? Give it everything we got. Boom! Not a hard run though. And honestly, we didn't need Transcend him. I had the setup to win this. Like, I would have had that double stacked uh, Tiresome Climb. If I never found Transcend him, I would have just leaned all in on that One Horn Warrior. And, you know, it was triple striking. I could get a lot of rage. I would just kill the shit out of anything. Um... MVP to transcend him, though. Like I said, it's a free win. There's so many, you know, I cannot sing the praises of Hellhorn enough, um, unlike Tethys. Tethys did stuff Ring 1, and that was, you know, about it, but, uh, you know, Fledgling Imp, it's enough to win it. Like, between this, these two things right here, we would have one that had the health and could just chump block a bit, the other one would come back each turn. We probably would have got another one of these instead of the Transcendence. Still would have done the Flash Freezes and stuff, probably. We would be getting a lot of rage on this One Horn Warrior. 
Also, another option is we could hell vent this as well. It just depends on how we want to swing it. Like, I already have three strikes here, so that's really all I need with Tethys in the back with a final hit. That's the four strike count you're looking for for the Divinity. But if I didn't want Tethys, I could just do double Horn Warrior and, you know, um, go hard on these fledglings. And by the way, instead of Flash Freeze, probably, like, Branding Right is what I might have Hellvented at one point. Like, that way I get uh, just uh, some extra armor on the Horn Warriors since they would be more integral. I need them to survive. And then also, you know, we had a lot of the usual suspects here, like Tiresome Climb, Double Stacked, would prevent as it did, uh, Divinity from attacking f for most of the fight, and also just help with bosses and stuff. So yeah, Hellhorn, what more can you say? Everybody's sleeping on the Hellhorn. Hellhorn, I, I think they're the best for me. For me. Mel Melting Remnant's probably the best. I don't know, though. I don't know. I feel like Hellhorn, if you're, if you're not... If you're not sloppy... The only times I lose with Hellhorn is because I'm sloppy. I can miss on a lot of stuff and still put something together. I can I can win the fucking game with Inflame, honestly. But whatever. Uh, we'll keep going. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace.